tonight, the surprising truth about fat. Nicola Ludlam Ray is a registered dietitian who specializes in combating obesity by changing people's behavior. She says there are three groups of fat that we need in our diet, monounsaturated, polyunsaturated, and to varying degrees, saturated. We should be aiming to include a mixture of unsaturated fats. We've got monounsaturated fats, polyunsaturated fatty acids, and then we've got some saturated fat as well. We eat food, not nutrients, and all of these foods provide so much more than just the fat. The foods that are rich in monounsaturated fatty acids are your avocados, we've got nuts, olive oil, rapeseed oil, and eggs as well. Right, okay. And these foods, I think, are quite easy to include in your yeah. diet. Eggs are really quick, aren't they? Nuts are ideal for snacking. Yeah. What about this plate? So on this plate, you've got polyunsaturated fatty acids, and these foods are really rich in omega-3. Omega-3 are fats that our body can't reduce, so we need to eat them. It's essential for a healthy heart. Ideally, people should be aiming for two portions of fish a week, one of which is oily. We've also got walnuts and pumpkin seeds for people who don't eat fish as well. The foods that we've got in front of us are high in fat. Will they make us fat? The simple answer is no. Eating fat directly doesn't make us fat. It's too many calories that makes us fat. It is true, though, that fats do come with a calorie punch. So for every gram of fat, you get nine calories, which in comparison to carbohydrates and protein, they provide four calories. So fats provide double the amount of energy. But sorting out the good fat from the bad is complicated. We decided to put the public to the test. So here I've got an avocado, I've got a chocolate bar, and I've got some yogurt covered fruit flakes. Which do you think contains the most fat? Chocolate bar. The chocolate bar. I would imagine the chocolate bars. The chocolate bar, okay. And what's the correct answer? Which of the three does actually contain the most fat? So it's actually the avocado. But what we know is avocados are really rich in unsaturated fats, which are the good fats which we should be eating more of in our diet. In fact, a typical avocado contains around 25 grams of fat. This 50 gram chocolate bar contains eight and a half grams of fat. And a small pack of yogurt fruit flakes contains four grams of fat. How do these two compare with the avocado? How do they differ? With these two, as well as fats, you're getting a lot of added sugar, which we know rots teeth. And what these foods are lacking is fibre and nutrients. With the avocado, you're getting a lot of unsaturated good fats, as well as fibre and nutrients, which is great for overall health. There are plenty of so-called superfood fats and oils now on the market. Sales of coconut oil have risen from 1 million to 16.4 million pounds in the UK over the past four years. But is it all it's cracked up to be? We've got some coconut oil and we've got some olive oil. Which do you think would be the healthiest option? Mm, definitely the coconut oil. I'm guessing it's the coconut oil. Yeah, coconut oil. I suspect the coconut oil. Coconut oil? I'd cook with coconut oil, so I'd say coconut okay, oil. Okay, yeah. But are they right? Olive oil versus coconut oil. Now, I'm really confused about this because everybody was singing and dancing about coconut oil recently, weren't they? And I used it for everything. Where do we stand? A lot of influential people on social media have started using a lot of coconut oil in their recipes. And all of a sudden, people think that it's the elixir of life. With coconut oil, just like with any oil, it's really rich in calories and fat. The predominant type of fat in coconut oil is saturated. And what we know is unsaturated is best for our heart health. And that is why olive oil is better because it's rich in the heart healthy unsaturated fatty acids. I must admit I am guilty of my eyes being bigger than my belly. Does portion size matter? Yes portion size does matter because food is so abundant I think yes it's really easy to overeat and I think there's a, a still a notion of a clean plate rule so thinking practically if you think of your plate in thirds if you're filling a third of it with green vegetables or salad a third of it with your carbohydrates such as pasta potatoes then a third of it with your proteins such as meat fish lentils then you've got a really balanced plate and on top of it you could add some healthy fats like half an avocado or some feta cheese or a little bit of olive oil and that is a balanced plate. When it comes to weight loss though, you might want to up the vegetables and salad and down the other two portions just a little bit. And what about dairy? 
A little bit of cheese is absolutely fine. These foods provide protein as well as calcium. And if you are aiming so for an amount in a day, I would say aim for three portions a day, a portion being about a third of a pint of milk, a small pot of yogurt and a matchbox size of cheese. The government's currently reviewing its guidelines on how much saturated fat should be in our diet and is expected to publish its report by early next year.